Hello. What up? I was not expecting you to be the first one to answer since I was literally just talking to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and Gordo is ditching us because he's too tired. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he was doing up so early. Like, literally, I didn't even nap today. <laughs> Hello, That's Sam. too bad. It's just like, I, I don't get it. Like, we're not asking Hello, all that much of him, but whatever. It means it'll be the only part of the stream with Gor- uh, it, it means it'll be the only swear-free GNL show in a long time. <laughs> I could change that. I would rather you not, since we're live okay. streaming for a children's hospital. Good point, yeah. <laughs> just a, well, just when a I, thought. When I saw that he was he was awake at, I don't know, like 5.30 this morning, I'm like, oh, what is he thinking? I know. I at least slept in until like 8.30. Because if you notice, when I, I missed the ability to tweet out that we were starting. Because I've been tweeting all day. That's true. I missed the ability to do that. People are going to get to see the behind the scenes here because I just had to switch my scene to uh, GNL show scene. Oh, yeah, I can. Let me load up the big box. Ah, Twitch. Oh, this is going to be obnoxious. Um. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to like do this really quick then. Okay, there we go. Uh, basically, since I'm in XSplit, the way I have to do this is I have to do a... I'm, I'm not in XSplit, I'm in OBS. I have to do it as a uh, window region, or a window capture. Yes, I remember. And then I have to crop down the window capture. Correct. So, I had to really quickly throw it up and hope that no one saw my contact list on the left-hand side. <laughs> If I was smart, I would have just closed the contact list on the left-hand side. I'm an idiot. Eh. Oh, so really quick, I don't know if you have the uh, big box stream up. I have magical powers if I can cut a bottle out of my face by holding my Mountain Dew in front of me. It gets keyed out. <laughs> Say that again? I can cut the shape of a bottle out of my face. Oh. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. So this is uh, behind the scenes of the GNL show, guys. I know it's uh, highly technical stuff. Yes. Ugh. Usually there's one more of us. But he's 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 tired. He's tired. He's trash. Uh, you know, Tim's about to like after this get off and sleep for about three hours to get back on at like, yeah. three a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he's the man. It's I'm a... like Gordo. Gord I mean, I'm like Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> Dirt is trash. Dirt. Dirt's trash. Come on. Stupid thing. <gasps> oh, Just work, okay. please. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay awake for an hour GNL show. I mean, come on. Don't be trash. I mean, I'm going to try to, but, like, I'm probably going to be really out of it. And, That's okay. Like, we all are. Um, right. I'm working on this crop. I will get... I, I will start as soon as I'm able to. <laughs> the only obnoxious thing about this is I'm going to have to go back through my recorded VOD in order to um, basically edit the GNL show this time yeah. around. Yeah. It's going to be mildly annoying, but it's for the children, so. Anything for the kids. Exactly. Speaking of kids, Xander had another damn good game today, huh? Yeah, he had 10 saves the first period, 10 the second, and then uh, 4 the third. But That's pretty good. That's, that's because we were at the uh, the opposing net quite a bit in the third period, and, and we just couldn't... I don't think we got any in the third period, but we didn't need any, so. That's good. For some reason... It's got to be your internet connection. Skype does not compress your video near as much as it compresses mine. Because I'm literally having zero problem keying yours out, even with the obvious shadow. Hmm. Like, it just keyed out perfectly fine. I see that. That's obnoxious. Because I don't know why Skype doesn't let me do it to yours. Skype is a hater. Or vice versa. I think I said it wrong. 
We're approximately the same size. So you like the uh, spam facsimile for the evening? I do, yes. That's I want to play something kind of classy, you know, some vector graphics. Mm. Looks very oh, Fallout 4 And I will show everyone my, uh, my pimpin' microphone that is gold. I will just pop that up into the frame for a second here. Mm. And um, I don't know. Tim, do you want to just talk for like a couple Hello. seconds? Um, yeah, so afterwards we went to this little mom and pop place. It was like a sports bar, Applebee's wannabe type mm -hmm. thing. And it was the slowest service that I've ever seen. The waitresses um, kept screwing up the drink orders. So That's they fantastic. said, Is they, Does anybody have a, did anybody want a Sierra Mist? No. Then they look at the kids. Do you guys want a free Sierra Mist? And of course, the kids are like, yeah, you free pop. Oh, no. Rock on. I don't care if it's 9 o'clock at night. Free drink? Sure. Yeah. I'll stay and up then, all night. And then she starts uh, bringing around beer and stuff. And like, do you guys have any beer over here? Like, no. You going to hand out free beer, though? <laughs> I might take a free beer. <laughs> yeah. I, I had the ribs. And for the price, it was $18. I thought... <laughs> It didn't specify, so I thought, you know, it'd be a full rack of ribs, right? No. What? It's half a rack, and it was um, a low average taste. Bent. You know what? Yeah. That's like for me, this one time I had. Um, hey, Harley. I had ribs at Texas Roadhouse. And everyone's like, you know, Texas Roadhouse is so good. Uh, yeah. 13 or $14 half rack of ribs. They were some of the worst ribs I've ever had. Yeah. Oh. They were overcooked. They were under seasoned. Their pulled pork is really good, but the ribs not so much. They have some pretty good burgers as well. I've never had a burger there. Every time I go there, I just I fall back on pulled pork. Yeah, if it's good, why? Why not? Exactly. I had Texas Roadhouse down in Texas of all places, and I had I had an the ribs actual steakhouse was... down in Texas, and, and it was about like you said, it was just kind of eh. It wasn't the best. But like, and my Overpriced cousin swears and... by him. It's like, what are you doing, man? Maybe he it. hasn't had good ribs. Maybe, but like, he used to work at a really good, like, he used to work at like a steakhouse, though. Like, he used to work at a decent steakhouse, so I'm, I don't know. Yeah, but there's, there's difference in cooking steak and cooking ribs. That's true. That is very true. Uh... I think, uh... I think we're about ready to go, I would say. You guys ready to rock? Yeah. All right. Welcome to a very special GNL show.